Okay, and we're back. Welcome back. You're now watching Jashana Stream Body Fitness. I'm your whole shape. And today I'm gonna to talk about the <laughs> how you can go about doing an enema. Okay? So if you don't know what this is, I'm gonna tell you this is an enema bag, and this one takes up to four quarts of water. Yeah? So you can get a smaller bag than this, ones that take up maybe two quarts of water. So um, basically one quart is just shy of a litre of water in volume, yeah? So this one takes up to almost four litres of water, okay? So in the beginning, I used to use this quite a lot, right? Because I, I was um, doing... Uh, the amazing liver and gallbladder flush cleanse every three weeks. Yeah, I was doing this through the whole year of 2017. And I, I ended up doing for that whole year a cleanse every month. So I did 12 in a year and then I, I still went over into 2018. And I, I, I did a, a total of about uh, 13 to 14 cleanses consecutively without a break and during that time I was doing the deep cleanse of the amazing liver and gallbladder flush I was implementing the enema bag yeah because I had my own little clonic home setup that I would use to give myself the detox and this was part of it but today I'm just going to show you how you can do an enema just for a, a one-off cleanse if you just want to do that okay so the items you're going to need you're going to need an enema bag now i purchased this off amazon just type in enema bags and you'll see the list come up with with the various sizes and so on and so forth you just order yourself one yeah so when you get the enema bag in the packaging you're gonna have the bag you're gonna have the tube and you're gonna have the tip that's the tip okay so the tip is about you know two inches two two and a bit inches long so to do the enema bag you're gonna need the enema you're gonna need the bag with all the accessories which should come together in the pack and you're gonna need this stuff distilled water not tap water you want distilled water all right so i ordered this offline as well you can get it off amazon or various websites that do distilled water this is a 25 liter drum of water so i do this okay i order a 25 liter of distilled water and that's what i use to do my enemas now to do the enema You've got to bring, you've got to pour this into a pot and bring it, you know, warm it up. You don't want it piping hot, you just want it warm, yeah? Because it's the warm water that when it goes into your body, that's gonna, it's gonna give you that flush. Okay, so you want the water to be warm, okay? It can't be cold. It has to be warm semi hot yeah not boiling hot because you don't want to burn your organs it's got to be warm enough that you can drink it if you can drink it then you can insert it basically so the water has to be warmed up in a pot then you use the pot yeah and you will fill up the enema bag just like that all right so you fill it up the water to the brim yeah it will become inflated like that then, when you're doing enema, for the gravitational flow of the water, the bag needs to be up high, higher than your head. It's got to be above head high, yeah? So when it fills, you have this clip here. So you loosen the clip and that allows the water to flow. And then you can slow the speed down by clicking it in a few times. So when you squeeze it, it now um, slows down the flow of the water. 
So what you do now, with the tip, yeah, you're gonna need some Vaseline, all right? Vaseline, petroleum jelly, lubricating jelly, yeah? You lube up just the tip, and then this inserts up the rectum, yeah, up the anus. So you only wanna go about an inch and a quarter of a way, that's, that's about how much you can go, yeah? You don't need to push the whole lot in, just get that mu about that much in of the rectum, yeah? And then you unclip the clip and allow the water to flow through, yeah? And the water's gonna flow through, it's gonna go up the anal canal, it's gonna go up your, your descending colon, it's gonna come round to the transverse colon, and it's gonna come up the ascending colon. You want the water to get from here, from the anus, all the way round to here. Past the sigmoid colon, descending colon, transverse colon, ascending colon. You want the water to get round to here. So when you're, you first do the enema, you put a few, you know, quarts of water up, you maybe one, you're gonna to wanna to eliminate straight away. You eliminate that, you lube up again, and you reinsert, open up the flow, allow the water to go through. While it's going through, you just wanna be gently massaging your colon, because what you're doing, you're just encouraging the water to mingle with the fecal matter as it's traveling around your colon, yeah? Your large intestines. You want it to get round to here, on the right side of your body, which is your ascending colon. So what happens now, when the water gets to here, you can actually hear the water. If you if you massage, you can hear the water go bloop, 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 bloop. That's when you know that the water has completely gone through all the way around your large intestines, through your colon. So from there now, you finish the whole four quarts of water inside if you can only manage one at a time or two at a time do that but when you're allowing the water to go through you want to hold the water you don't want to eliminate it straight away you want to hold it if you can hold it for five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes is great because you're holding it and it's having it's having that chance to get, really get in there and mingle with the fecal matter, break it down, soften it, so that you can now eliminate and it will all come out, all right? So each time you, you, you know, you take some water in and you open up the tap, you allow water to come in, you wanna be holding it for about five minutes, you know, minimum, before you allow your body to eliminate it, all right? Also, when you're doing this, you need to be in your bathroom next to the toilet because it's an explosive um, cleanse and once the water starts coming out, there's no stopping it. So make sure the environment is hygienically cleaned and you're next to the toilet. So you've taken all the water in, the bag is flat, it's empty like this. Now all you wanna be doing, you just wanna just be massaging. You massage your trunk. You are ascending colon, which is on your right side. You come all the way up. You massage your tr transverse colon, which is the horizontal part of your colon. Massage it. And you're just shifting the water around to your left side. Now you're on your descending colon. You massage all the way down. And you're just, you know, in like a, a, a clockwise motion. You're just going around your stomach like this and you're getting the water from the right side and you're pushing it round to the left, yeah? So it gets down here to it meets your sigmoid colon. So when the sigmoid colon there, that's the last part of your colon before it goes down to the anal canal and then out of the anus. So you get here and you begin to massage here, right down here on the left side. And you push all the water down and then you will feel a bowel movement and you and you just release everything. Now, this takes some time. It might take up to an hour to get through that. Some people do it a lot quicker. Depends how full you are. It depends how much fecal matter you have in your colon. 
but I would say within an hour, you should be able to go through that whole um, pouch and you know eliminate the waste. So that's how you do an enema, you know, straightforward, nothing to it, you know. The first time you do it, you know, it, you know, it, it takes some time to get used to, you know. If you do feel a slight discomfort when you're letting the water come up, go up through the anal canal, just stop. Just press the, the catch here. You just so when when you put it up, you like this, and you release the catch, the water's gonna flow, right? And then when if you feel a discomfort you just reach down and you just shut shut it off okay and that stops the water and then you can just allow yourself to come you know compose yourself it's not something that you rush you just take your time and you do it all right mm, you know if it helps you can play some soothing music some meditation music or whatever relaxes you burn some incense, you know, to, you know, dispel the smell and all of that, yeah, so just do what you need to do to relax you and keep your environment in a nice, tranquil state, so I'm Shane, you're now watching Jashana Stream Body Health, this is how to do an enema, this is how I do it, I've done it, you know, many times over the years, I've incorporated this with my before and after cleanse for the amazing liver and gallbladder flush. I'm gonna put a link in the description to all my health um, videos, which you can watch one after the other. Or if you click on the playlist, Jashan Extreme Body Health, you will have all my videos based on health in that playlist. You can just press um, play all and it will play them all um, the big sequence and you can get the full entirety of my whole health regime and the things that I implement when I'm cleansing or detoxing. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, share and follow. You are now watching Jashana Stream Body Health. This is my take on how to do an enema. You know, try it out for yourself and see how it works. Yeah, hit that notification button, like, subscribe, share and follow me on all our uh, social media um, sites and you know comment man tell me what you think about this have you done it before what's your take on it yeah so thanks for watching again peace and i'm out yeah